Bras have come a long way over the years, but finding the perfect fit can sometimes seem like rocket science, but not anymore because now there's a new high-tech solution. Scientists are using motion sensors like you see right here to measure how a woman's breasts bounce and move while jogging to help design the perfect fitting bra, which is important. It is very oh, important. So if the important. bra is not fitting perfectly, then um, your breasts are sort of bouncing, not really all over the place. It takes this figure of eight pattern, so pretty much all over the place. Right. The average woman is a 36C, and all that movement can really stretch out your ligaments and destroy the breast tissue, so you're doing jumping jacks and your breasts are becoming flapjacks. Yeah, and making, yeah, making them sag, exactly. And we've all done this when we run, you know, we've got a little something, then you don't want it moving around, and we want women to exercise, because that's so, we know how, how much that benefits health. And you can't exercise if you have to hold your breasts running, so the, the bra is so important. I mean, we've come a long way, so this is fantastic that they're using ergonomics and really taking this seriously. Important for people like Nikki, who you admit that it hurt to exercise, right? Sometimes with sports bras, I have to wear two of them just so you could, you know, have the right support. But yeah, it hurts to exercise and run. When you find that right one, you don't let it go. I know, it's right? Like, it's you like, buy a ton yeah. of them in every color. Exactly. <laughs> and we have you in a new bra right now, but before the show, to help solve Nikki's problem, we put her in her own sports bra to test how it measures up. And as you can see watching this, there's a lot of what you called jiggling movement up and down. And did you realize when you're running, looking at yourself, that there was that much movement? I had no idea. I knew it was like some and it was really uncomfortable and kind of painful, but after that, I had no idea it was that much. So there's some data from when you were running earlier. Your bounce was 16 millimeters and your side to side was 20 millimeters or almost that, which wow. is a lot. So what we want to have you do now is start exercising like you were before and we want to do a little comparison. Okay. So it's important because, you know, it really it shows how the manufacturers should make these bras for women by watching all this. It's such important information to get. You know, too much bounce when it's heavy also affects your neck, your back. Mm -hmm. Women get headaches. Absolutely. So support can actually improve your overall posture. Can you tell a difference right now? I can tell <laughs> a complete difference. Are you in it? It's like, no, not at all. They're like not moving at all. It's That's like really, great. really great. And you like That's to awesome. exercise? I exercise about three to five times a week, so. Well, let's look side by side. You running right now with a better proper fitting sports bra with your old bra. Okay. And everyone will be, I think, impressed by the difference here. That's dramatic, yeah. The data, which is <laughs> even more remarkable, is that the Notori bra cut her bounce in half mm -hmm. and the side-to-side -side motion by more than 80%. Wow. <laughs> so amazing. for someone like you, that's absolutely essential to allow you to keep exercising without pain. But admittedly, not everyone at home has the capabilities. So we have Carly Gomez here. She's a professional bra fitter from Notori. She's going to show us how you can find the perfect bra. Thank you so much for coming. Nice. Yes, Thanks thank for you. <laughs> so, we have Carly as well as Jamie, an audience member. They're going to help us figure out the right fitting bra because 80% of women choose the wrong bra, is that right? It's actually gone up. 85% of all women are wearing the wrong bra size now. Wow. So it's, it's pretty unbelievable. Um, th that's why it's just so important that you're wearing the right bra size. It's going to really change your whole look, um, the way you present yourself, the way you feel, just really everything. So what do you do? What does Jamie do? Okay, let's measure around her bands. I measure at uh, 30 bands, so she's definitely going to be a 32 because that's where your bra size starts at. Then we're going to measure the cup. And, you know, it's so important to take this time. Women don't because they feel so self-conscious yeah. getting it done in the dressing room. Yeah. But it ch can change your life. Absolutely. 34 is her cup size, so we're going to start from her band. Count up. 32 would be A. B would be your 34. And all the way up to 35 would be a C. So 32C is actually your correct bra size. Wow. See, oh that's gosh. so important. I actually just yeah. got fitted about two weeks ago. Travis, I know you wanted to know that. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, because if you, if you have smaller shoulders and they mm -hmm. don't make it, 
get, you know, like 32 Ds and stuff, they're like hard to find. Well, so what were you wearing, Jamie? So 32C is what you should be wearing. I was wearing like a 34A to a 34B. I had no idea that I was a C. Your breasts will change through stages of life, so you need mm -hmm. to remeasure after... Every six months, they say you should remeasure yourself, just because our bodies do. They change so much. Well, everyone in our audience is getting their own Notori sports bra, courtesy of Notori as well as Nordstrom. Thank you so much, Jamie. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you. Coming up, whether you're a new mom, pregnant, or planning a family soon, we're giving you a crash course in the best breastfeeding techniques. That's right after the break.